Hello fellow bibliophiles and welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. I can't believe it, but I've been making content on this channel now for three years to the day. On August 14th of 2016, I published my first booktube video, which was a booktube newbie tag. I was awkward and incredibly self-conscious, and now, three years and 137 videos later, here I am. Uh, I believe this is actually 138. <laughs> I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to reflect a bit about my experience with this channel, how it's changed over time, and where I see it going in the future. But if you don't have time to stick around for all of that, feel free to just skip to the end for the official Q&A announcement. Booktube and this channel has become an integral part of my life. I love having this platform to discuss books and my reading life, and I just wanted to thank you all for making this channel possible. Sure, I could sit in my apartment and film whatever I wanted to, but it's the interaction with all of you lovely subscribers that makes this channel so special to me. Originally, I thought I would simply be posting to the internet void and that no one would be interested in what I had to say, and originally that was okay with me. I thought this channel could function as a video journal of sorts to keep a record of how my reading and my thoughts have changed over time. But this channel is so much more to me. I'm humbled and grateful to have met so many of you through your comments and emails, and in some cases your own content. I still consider myself a relatively small channel. I'm obviously not one of those big booktubers, nor do I ever think I will be. But the subscribers I have and the community that this channel has created for me are precious. There are even a handful of the sweetest booktubers that I've had the pleasure of engaging with regularly, usually via Voxer, and there are a few booktubers who I've been lucky enough to meet in person and who I've grown close with as well. So again, thank you to everyone. Before making this video, I looked back at some of my old content, just the thumbnails really. I don't usually rewatch my videos unless I have to in order to find something. I hate listening to myself on film, which is why my original impetus to start this channel as a video journal is a tad ridiculous to me now. But anyway, I'm struck by how much I miss my tiny room in Boston where I filmed until May 2017. I loved how light and bright that room was despite not having any windows and how easy it was to set up my filming there. My current apartment feels so dark in comparison and I spend an inordinate amount of time trying to set everything up to film. I've tried a few different setups but I'm not particularly pleased with any of them and I feel like my hair always blends in with the dark bookshelf. I also look back and I think how ambitious and adventurous I was with my channel that first year. I was full of ideas, I did tons of tags, I hosted a Wuthering Heights read-along which very few people participated in, but I was so excited by the few people who did. I co-hosted March Madness Readathon. And I came up with my favorite chatty life update format of paper crane conversations, which I still do and would love to continue. My first year was all over the place with my reading. I read more than I had in a very long time, and I soaked up other booktubers' recommendations like a sponge. I became aware of all of this contemporary lit and newer releases that I was oblivious to during my time in college and early years of dental school. I was encouraged to read genre that I rarely read before, like nonfiction and essays and poetry, short stories, mysteries, and graphic novels. In some ways, I still feel like I'm catching up with my reading. My second and third year, I got really into my wrap-ups and more in-depth book-specific discussions and continue to read just such a wide variety of things. Katie and I started Jane Austen July, and I had a whole series of book-to-TV adaptations for a while. I really like the content I've been making, but this past year, I feel like my channel and my reading has fallen into a bit of a rut. I've stopped religiously posting once a week if I didn't feel like filming that week, and sometimes I struggle to come up with video ideas. My reading is still all over the place. Booktube has given me so many, many recommendations that I am massively overwhelmed. I've acquired shelves and shelves of unread books and possibilities, and sometimes it feels like my mind can't focus on any of them long enough to finish anything. As I read one book, I crave another, and I can't concentrate on the current read. 
plus the more wonderful booktubers I find, the more my TBR keeps growing and the less I seem like I can watch all of their videos. It's a wonderful problem to have, really, to be surrounded by and introduced to such vast quantities of literature. And it's a problem that I'd really like to embrace in the coming year. I'd like to find myself more at ease with my book selections and be able to focus on each book without having the nagging feeling that I should be reading something else instead. I'd also like to go back to the taking notes on my books and savoring quotes once I've finished them. It's something that I did religiously in my first year and I miss having a record of, truthfully. I'd also love to be able to plan my videos more ahead of time. I usually come up with a video idea, film, edit, and post all on the same day. Usually when I come up with ideas in advance, I'm no longer excited about them when the time for filming comes around. But that lack of planning also means that I miss a lot of opportunities that I would have had the time to do had I thought about them in advance. I'm so excited to see where this channel will take me and my reading life in the coming year, and I can't wait for you all to join me. I'm curious to hear if you have any thoughts about my channel or any special video requests for the future. Is there a suggestion that you think would work well for my channel? Is there a specific topic that you wish I would talk more about? Please let me know. In honor of my three years on booktube, I will also be hosting a Q&A, so feel free to ask me anything in the comment section down below. It can be about reading and books or about filming and this channel or even about my personal life. I'll probably post the video where I respond to all of your queries in mid to late September. I'm getting married towards the beginning of September, so I won't really have the time to do it any sooner. But feel free to post questions in the comment section until, let's say, September 12th. Thank you all again for being the best subscribers and for supporting this channel. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all in another video soon. Bye!